Welcome again, fellow garage golfers. Rolling here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Stay tuned for today's Skytrack Tech Tip. Hi again and welcome back. Thanks for watching. So did you know where you place your golf ball in relation to the Skytrack? It could directly influence whether or not that Skytrack is going to read your shot or not, especially for those with higher swing speeds. What I'm going to do today is show you different scenarios as far as different type of shots you'll be taking. And if you have a faster or possibly a slower swing speed, where exactly to place that golf ball? Let's start with scenario number one and we're going to be using the driver. A lot of people ask, where do I place the golf ball in relation to the driver, especially if you're using the tee? So obviously you know initially, the first thing you want to try is to place your tee right at the base of where the line lines up down here. And I'm going to show you here in just a second. So what you want to do is you want to place your tee right on top of that line, place your golf ball right on top of the tee, go ahead and give it a shot and see how it does. Now for those of you with faster swing speeds, what we're going to want to do is place that golf ball slightly behind that laser dot. If you're noticing you're having some misreads, and we have that sometimes here with Danny here in the simulator as well, uh, since he has a little bit faster swing speed, what you're gonna wanna do is place it about an inch or so behind that laser dot, similar to what you see here. What that's gonna do is give the camera a little bit more time to pick up your golf ball and hopefully limit the number of misreads you have with your Skytrack unit. In the same respect, if you have a slower swing speed, or if you notice that you get your ball slightly higher up in the air with your driver, you may want to place it about an inch in front of that laser dot as well. Sometimes I've done that before when I'm not hitting my driver all that well and I've noticed that it doesn't have really any misreads when I go that route. Um, so I don't know, whatever it is, it seems to work out for me, so it's definitely something I wanted to share with you at home. Alright, second scenario, and this is one we hear about all the time, and that's a lob wedge shot using your Skytrack. So, the best thing I would recommend for anybody doing a lob wedge shot is to place your golf ball an inch in front of that laser dot. That's going to allow it to get in that camera line because what happens sometimes is if you're hitting a lob shot and you have it placed on the actual laser dot, depending upon how good you are as far as getting that golf ball up in the air, you might notice that it jumps over the camera and doesn't allow the camera to read. So what I've noticed is place it logo facing forward towards the actual launch monitor, which is real important. You want to do that with your driver as well but place it logo forward about an inch in front of that laser dot and that's definitely something that I feel will help with those misreads. You might have seen a video I did a while back in which shot after shot it did not read the golf ball and this is when I was actually going through uh, hitting multiple shots with my lob wish. So it's very frustrating when that happens. Uh, so I worked on ways, different ways as far as communicating with the people at Skytrack and giving you the best tool to limit those number of misreads and that's exactly what I feel uh, is the best way to go about doing that. Alright, and lastly, specifically in relation to when you're playing simulator golf and you're not on the Skytrack application, is the putting feature. Uh, so I had to play around with this a bit. I even actually lined it up with the laser tool that I have uh, that I'll be doing a video for you guys on as well. But really the biggest thing is make sure you place that ball logo facing forward towards the actual unit. I have played around with putting that golf ball in front and behind of that laser dot. I do find that if you put the golf ball slightly closer to the laser dot where it reflects off of it a little bit more and is actually hitting that logo, I tend to have very little misreads with putting now as a result. And that's even using a fiber built insert as you see here, which is a little bit more thick and dense and people have had more problems with the fiber built in relation to putting on simulator golf. So it's been a great tool. Uh, probably out of 100 shots, I may get three or four misreads uh, on a putt, which isn't bad you know, in relation to what I have seen in the past. So it's definitely a good tool and a good tech tip to help you work on your simulator golf game. All right, so thank you for hanging out with us in this week's tech tip. I wanted to give you some ideas as far as what to do with that golf ball, specifically when using a Skytrack. Have you seen anything different on your end at home? Is there any shot that Skytrack doesn't read for you on a regular basis? If so, please let us know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to go through some different scenarios and even reach out to the people at Skytrack as well to give you the best tool on how to have the Skytrack pick up your unique shot and type that you're looking to do. So feel free to reach out to us. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. It's really important to us. 
If you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing to our channel. Here at Garage Golf, we do product reviews, simulator reviews, and pretty much provide information on anything golf related. So if you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks again for hanging out with us and keep on golfing.